very first one is connecting accordions with carousel so let's get started with this one and we're going to start from scratch the full design step by step okay so let's add a section here in between we're going to select this type of structure here okay and now let me push this one down a little bit just for now out of sight while we design this one okay so from here we are going to add our container so we go back to our widgets so drag and drop and now we can duplicate this one and as you can see now the two containers one on the left one on the right and now we can insert our widget within those two okay so we go back here the first one is called accordion and all the widgets we're going to use are from the plus add-ons obviously you know so drag and drop and on the other side we're going to add another one that's called carousel anything so again from the plus add-on so this is the one here drag and drop so this is basically our main structure now okay so let's add a background color first so we click on our main container we go to style we're going to select a classic color and let's add maybe a dark purple okay and then we can add some edges maybe here by the side so we go to shape divider and let's select zigzag on top we're going to put it full width so 300 and the height let's go maybe with 15 so not too big not too small just a perfect ratio and we do the same for the bottom so again we're going to select zigzag 315 here at the bottom so that looks good now doesn't it so now let's take care of our accordion here so we're going to add our different tabs so as you can see it's only two tabs at the moment but you cannot see one on the you know but let's do this together so we're going to create the first one so let's give this a title so maybe this one will be called tab number one we have received would put any title that you want you know and here we're going to put a little bit of dummy content so paste whatever you want here literally whatever text you want to display basically you know now if you look at the content source here you can select among two different options you have content and page template so content this is what we just did you can just type some text whatever you want basically okay and you can also select page template so we are going to discover this with the other widget here on the right hand side so we're not just going to cover this now we're going to leave it as this okay and then you're going to do the same exact same with the other tab basically so you could delete this one perhaps you know again duplicate it duplicate again and then we can tweak things around basically you know so this could be tab number two and then you can have tab number three so that's basically everything for our tabs now now you may have noticed that we only see tab number one at the moment and that's because the other tabs the color is too similar to the background color so it's basically fading away so if you go back here to style we can start tweaking things around okay so as you can see from here you can tweak literally everything you have the icon the title the title background the content content background the hover style and on score view animation so let's go through this one by one okay so first we're going to add a background color so this is probably the easiest one to see the contrast between the text and the background so let's click on title background and as you can see you have normal mode and active mode so basically once you click on a tab this becomes the active one and all the others are the normal ones okay so let's add a color to the normal one so maybe let's select white so as you can see immediately here now we can read the content of the other tabs and then we can select a color for the active one so let's go maybe with a vibrant purple or something like this perhaps a lovely color you know maybe a bit darker than this perhaps something like this this would be absolutely fine very good so let's add a little bit of breathing space or all, all around it okay so we can use the inner padding here so let's try a little bit uh, let's increase that maybe to 25 I think that looks perfect and then we can have rounded edges maybe on top just for the active one so as you can see have the border uh, box border here so we can enable this now and we're going to add so we're not going to select anything here so no borders basically okay so we're going to set this to zero but what we're going to do is to use the border radius so we're going to unlink those values and we're going to select only top and right so let's try 10 maybe we're not going to try to to round it you know yeah 10 is fine so let's go 10 and 10 on each side and as you can see it's just the top edges that are actually rounded here as you can see where i'm pointing okay now obviously as you can see the font color is not okay so for this now we go to title and this is where we can tweak the color the font and everything we want okay 
Now, as you, you can see, the color is right here. So for this, we're going to go to active because we only want to change the color for the, uh, for the purple background. And now we're going to select white instead. So there you go. Now we have the perfect contrast between background and the title itself. And obviously you can change everything related to the font. All you have to do is go to typography. You can select the different family, change the size. You can uh, select the thickness of your font and all that. But we're going to leave it as this because it looks fine the way it is. And you can also play around with the size size of the icon that's displayed here. In relation to this, if you want the icon to be displayed on the other side, which is perhaps preferable, you can go to icon and as well here. And then from here, you can select the alignment. So at the moment is aligned to the left, but maybe you prefer to have it aligned to the right. So whichever way, you know, this is just a matter of preferences. And then obviously you can change the color, the active color as well. You can change the gaps. So this is basically the distance between the text here and the icon itself and the icon size. Again, you can make it bigger or smaller so let's just leave it the way it was maybe 15 points is fine now we might want to increase the contrast between the text and the background here so for this we go to content and again we can select the font which we go to typography and let's just change the color for now so let's select a brighter color with a bit more contrast so this is much easier to read so this would be just about perfect so let's put this to the test now so we have tab number two and tab number three and as you can see as you click on it the icon will change color as well now if you wanted to change the icons here you can do so as well you go back to content you have icon options and there it is this is where you can change them this is using font awesome obviously you know so you could change this maybe for an eye or something like this you know and then a slash eye for a closed window whichever you prefer again you know but let's just keep plus and minus for this example which is absolutely fine now let's take care of the second section here which is called carousel anything there you go and as you can see at the moment we have slide one and slide two by default so clearly here we have three different tabs tab one tab two tab three so we want the image to slide respectively based on those three different tabs so what we need to do on this section here is to also create three different contents that we are going to link respectively to the three different tabs okay so let's take care of slide number one so as you can see the first option is the title so let's keep that simple slide one we're going to call this slide one slide two and slide three and you select the type of content so as you can see you can use a short code as well so you could insert a form for instance or whichever plugin that's linked to your wordpress installation in our instance here we're going to use a template and as you can see at the moment we don't have any template uh, yet so what we need to do beforehand is to create our three different slides using elementor and then we can link them back here okay so for this we go back to our wordpress dashboard we have elementor just underneath we have templates so open this and now we can create a new template. So let's add a new one. So we're gonna create one together. So the first option here is to select a container and let's give it a name. So we're gonna call this slide number one, okay? And let's create our template. So as you can see by default, Elementor is gonna display the header and footer of your website that come by default with your theme. But don't worry about that because once we insert that into our widget, it will automatically only display the content of this uh, template itself, okay? So now we need to create a section. So let's select this structure here and we're gonna insert an image basically, okay? So we drag and drop image here. And let's select our first image. So let's select an image from our library. So let's, for instance, select this one here. So this one is called 1PNG. So let's insert. And now we want to center this in the middle of our section. So for this, we go back to our container. And as you can see, we have center. So this will be perfectly centered. And now we can publish. And that's basically it. So now if we go back to our WordPress dashboard, we can go ahead and do the same with another two. So we have slide number one, so we can add a new one. So I'll do that very quickly. I'll create those two different ones now. So there you go. As you can see now we have slide one, slide two and slide three. And now we can insert them into our widget. So let's go back here. So let's click on slide one and let's select our template. So this one will be called slide one. There you go as you can see now it is displaying properly and now we can do the same with the other two so a quick shortcut here basically is just to delete this one and now we can duplicate this one again and then change the name so as you can see this one will be slide two and then we can select the template slide two can close this one and then go to the next one this one is slide three and select the template slide three 
There you go, very good. So now we have three different slides. Now, how can we connect this to the actual accordion here? So let me show you this now. So as you can see, right underneath, we have a unique carousel ID, and this is what we need to do. We need to create a unique ID that we're going to share between those two, and this is how they're gonna work conjointly together. So let's type something. So basically, it's a unique ID again, okay? So let's create something, for instance, accordion slider, and then you can copy this, control c and now we're going to go back to our accordion we go to the special options scroll down the options and here we have the carousel connection id and let's paste this one here so now those two are linked together so let's put this to the test at the moment we're tab number one so let's click on tab number two there you go we have a different image and tab number three a different image again so let's go back to tab two and perhaps tab one and as you can see those images are sliding respectively depending on which tab we click on. How amazing is that? Now, there's a few more options we can take care of on this side. If you click on this, as you can see at the moment, we have three different dots here. So this is just to help the visitors click from one to the other. You might not want to have this uh, at the same time as you have the tabs here. So for this, we can go to style and right here, you can customize basically everything, you know? So you have draggable, so you could use the mouse basically to go from one to the other. You might want to keep this. And then you have infinite mode, so it will loop and so on and so on. So you have the autoplay and there is the, the option we're going to disable basically is the show dots, you know. So we're going to just remove this for this example here, which is probably better. Now we'll let you discover all these different options here, which are pretty self-explanatory. So that's basically it for this option here. And now we can go back to our main container and add a bit of breathing space on top and bottom. So we go to advanced, we go to padding and we could just add maybe add 50 on top and 50 at the bottom. Yeah, maybe a bit less at the bottom, maybe 20 and there you go. This is fantastic.